Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about best practices. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineer, how do you really care about using the best software engineering practices at work? Or are you happy simply getting your work done? Why can't it, why can't it be both? Can't I just want things to get done and at the same time want to follow the best practices? I think the thing I want to answer here is that I only want to use the the proven best practices that make sense for the moment. Fuck everything else. Literally everything else. Fuck it right up the ass. I don't care if you have a million experimental ways of doing something better than everybody else. Until you have proven very definitively that this is actually something that is pretty awesome I will at best think that we should experiment with it a little bit and see how it goes for us before we go of like full throttle on the thing and like buy into it completely because the worst thing I know is when you have someone who is convinced without any proof whatsoever that something is going to make the difference and when you ask them why do you think well what's what's gonna be better if we do this thing the only thing they ever answer is a nuance of this root root answer it's just gonna make stuff better okay that sounds very thought through and measurable it's just gonna make everything better guys do you hear everything's gonna be better now it's all gonna work out and you sit there and you wonder like well, why are you bothering us with this like come when you come with something more concrete and it's just going to make everything better we need to talk it through so that you can get the other people who haven't been sold this idea that you've been sold in on the secret what what's going to happen how is this helping and if you're right, really lucky you will have coworkers who are very open to trying things out i can only speak for me and my own teams like and all the teams i usually work with as long as something is sustainable or like it's a good time or we don't have something really urgent going on we'll gladly try it out and let's see how it goes and then evaluate and everybody gets to say their piece because the worst thing is if you have one person who really cares about a specific practice or something and claims that this is going to make the big difference and they are the really the only person who can see the value in that thing and then they push it and force everybody else to use it and in some time, sometimes you you get lucky and people kind of come around and realize that wow this was actually a pretty good thing I'm glad we made this investment or like somebody forced us to do it but you also have quite a lot of situations where people get really frustrated and annoyed with you as the person who did it and with the process itself and you, like, then it's not going to turn out well anyway but th I would say that there is a the practices that you follow, and this is why it's kind of hard to tell new developers exactly what type of practices they should follow, because every company, I mean, there are things that are universally considered to be good practices, but at the same time, we are a little bit flexible when it comes to implementation, like what do we actually mean when we, when we say that we are doing test-driven development? Are we doing purest TDD, or are we just adding tests? Like, what are we doing? Uh, rest is also a good one like uh, how are we doing rest are we doing it purist are we doing it like pragmatic or I mean this is pretty much an RPC thing right here like how are we doing it so the devil is, is in the details what does dry actually mean if you say or what does the single responsibility principle actually mean how do you do that if you really get down to the discussions back and forth that's where you actually come for, for, for if you actually get to a better definition than just having all these so-called best practices that you should follow because if you converse with your coworkers and that I would say is if there's any practice that you should follow rigorously and religiously in every single circumstance I don't care which company you work at it is over communicate with your coworkers make sure that you are all open enough and feel comfortable enough with each other to have a discussion about should we do A or should we do B? Why A? Why B? Why not A? Why not B? And then, then have a discussion on a case-by-case -case basis so that you create a system that works for you and that makes sense to the people working there. Que f like completely ignore what some blogger is saying somewhere and never take what someone outside of your company is saying as the absolute truth 
until you've verified that this actually applies to how things are working within your company. So what I want you to take away from this is that there is a balancing act to just getting things done and following good practices. Sometimes you're lazy and you just want to get something done and you know that you're creating a little bit of legacy here now but hopefully it's not too bad and you're gonna pay it back later. Wink wink, of course we are. Uh, and in some cases you do have practices that you really want to follow because you and in a lot, more, a lot of the cases it's down to the emotional states of the developers. A lot of developers come in with prior experiences and they go at my last company we didn't do this thing and it blew up in our faces and we have to do this thing because it's the only way we're going to survive and so forth and some developers come in like blank slates and they kind of just roll with whatever happens the best thing for you to find the software practices that will suit you the best is by having a dialogue with the people that you're working with that is the best practice that you can possibly have over communicate just talk it through discuss pros and cons with different approaches and then agree on ways that you can like uh, different practices that you should adopt because the fact of the matter is nobody's working on your code base and there are some guidelines that are absolutely useful that have been proven through hundreds and hundreds and thousands of uh, people on different software products to be useful but it's really hard when you get down to the bare like the nitty-gritty details to tell how are you going to do this exactly what is exactly test driven development and what is exactly the dry principle how do you actually do this and in many cases it's much more effective for you to just talk the thing through with your coworkers and decide on this is how we define how to do this have a great day